Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important topic that is the sovereign gold bond. So this topic is actually really really important for the SBI State Bank of India Circle Based Officer 2022 exam. Very important topic. Every year there is one or two question from this particular topic in the exam. That is why I thought why not to teach this topic. I'm going to teach in the MCQ format under eight minutes i'll be able to finish the topic so stay tuned so what are sovereign gold bonds uh, your mother or your parents uh, your father might be having gold ornaments at home so gold it's a favorite investment option for the indian parents right what they do is they go they go to a jewelry shop right and then they buy the ornaments they'll buy bangles gold bangles or gold rings right so they need to pay, uh, first of all, GST is there, I guess GST is around 3%, right? They pay making charge, right? Making charges are there, which revolves around 20%, right? Uh, so these are the expenses that they need to pay along with the whatever, you know, gold prices there. And generally, uh, the dwellers, they charge like 1 or 2% extra, right? I don't know why. <clears throat> so uh, the gold prices that they give it's not really you know competitive so you are uh, as an investment gold ornaments jewelry is not really a good investment opportunity right <clears throat> that's why the government of india came up with the sovereign gold bonds so if you want to invest in uh, sovereign gold bond so it is uh, these are the government securities backed by the government of India and government of India launch it with the help of Reserve Bank of India, right? So the in the sovereign gold bond, there is no GST, no making charge. You give your money to the Reserve Bank of India and then they give you uh, the sovereign gold bonds. And I'll discuss about the taxation. The taxation is also very interesting there is no tax if you keep that uh, you know sovereign gold bonds for eight years it's tax free it's very interesting so sovereign gold bonds are government securities point number one they are government securities and uh, they are denominated in grams of gold and they are substitutes for holding physical gold right uh, so investors, they pay money, they pay cash to the Reserve Bank of India and they get the bonds, right? And the uh, and the bonds are issue, issued by Reserve Bank of India on the behalf of Government of India. Okay, very basic, very simple. And uh, one interesting thing about sovereign gold bond, if you invest your money in the sovereign gold bonds, uh, your capital appreciates along with the gold prices. Today, the gold price is, let's say, 52,000 rupees. And after five years, the gold price is, let's say, 75,000 rupees. So you'll be getting seven at your money back at the rate of 75,000. Plus, you'll be getting 2.5% interest. Annual interest paid in two installments, two half yearly installments, 2.5% is the interest. And it is tax free. No need to pay any tax. Okay. <clears throat> what is the minimum denomination for which the sovereign gold bonds uh, uh, is issued? The minimum uh, denomination is one gram. So minimum denomination of sovereign gold bond is one gram. And what is the interest rate in the sovereign gold bonds? It is 2.5%. 2.5% is the interest rate per annum. 2.5% per annum is the interest rate on sovereign gold bonds it is paid in two installments two half yearly installments okay uh, what is the tenure tenor or tenure of bonds under the sovereign gold bonds so eight years is the tenure right so if you hold the sovereign gold bonds for eight years it would be tax free although if you are buying the sovereign gold bonds uh see Suppose uh, you are buying in the very first year, you bought the sovereign gold bond for uh, for first five years. In the first five years, if you want to withdraw your money, if you need money, you can go to the secondary market to sell the sovereign gold bonds. So what are the secondary markets? In the in the you can go to the brokers 
लाइक जीरो उधा यू कैन गो टू देयर अकाउंट यू कैन गो टू योर अकाउंट एंड जीरो उधा एंड यू कैन सेल योर सॉवरन गोल्ड बॉन्ड्स ऑब्वियसली देर माइट बी सम डिस्काउंट रनिंग ऑन वन और टू परसेंट यू कैन सेल योर सॉवरन गोल्ड बॉन्ड्स एंड टैक्स वुड बी लेवड इट वोट बी टैक्स फ्री देन ऑन द फिफ्थ ईयर द आर बी आई गिवज यू एंड यू नो एन ऑपरचुनिटी टू रिडीम योर सॉवरन गोल्ड बॉन्ड्स ओके एंड इन द एट्थ ईयर your uh, you know uh, bonds would be redeemed and it would be tax free okay so until 5th year uh, you can sell it in the secondary market from 5th year rbi gives you an opportunity to you know redeem it and on the 8th year rbi would anyway you know uh, redeem it for you okay and it would be tax free okay what is the minimum number of years after which pre mature redemption is allowed uh, for sovereign gold bonds the same question मैंने अभी समझाया है जस्ट नाउ आई एक्सप्लेन इट आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स यू नो यू कैन विदड्रॉ योर मनी आर बी आई गिवज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू द होल्डर टू विदड्रॉ द मनी ओके देन वॉट इज द मैक्सिमम लिमिट ऑफ कैश पेमेंट अलाउड अंडर द सॉवरन गोल्ड बॉन्ड सॉवरन गोल्ड बॉन्ड में मैक्सिमम कितना कैश आप दे सकते हो हाउ मच कैश हार्ड कैश यू कैन गिव टू द आर बी आई टू बाय सॉवरन गोल्ड बॉन्ड मैक्सिमम ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड रुपी यू कैन गिव टू बाय सॉवरन गोल्ड बॉन्ड दिस मच कैश यू नो यू कैन गिव द आर बी आई टू बाय द सॉवरन गोल्ड बॉन्ड्स ओके बियॉन्ड दैट यू नीड टू गिव इन दैट यू नो चेक और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक फंड ट्रांसफर यू नीड टू डू दैट मैथड Uh, the sovereign gold bond is issued by the reserve bank of india on the behalf of government of india okay i already explained that and the interest on the bonds will be taxable as per the provisions of income tax act i guess 1961 okay the taxation it is very interesting the maximum quantity of gold that can be issued to the individual and huf maximum 4 kg can be issued to the individual and huf now the taxation point is actually very interesting students i already explained that but let's do it again so uh, the treatment of capital income so what is the short term uh, capital gain any gain earned with the holding period of less than 3 years falls under the category of short term capital gain and it is chargeable to the income tax Uh, as per the normal income tax lab so if you are selling your sovereign gold bond within 3 years if the holding period is less than 3 years then it is a short term capital gain okay it is a short term capital gain up to 3 years it is a short term capital gain and tax would be charged uh, as per the normal income tax slabs and then if the holding period is more than 3 years if holding period is more than 3 years but less than Eight years, but less than eight years, or you know, before uh, the redemption. So, if the holding period is more than three years, then it is a long-term capital gain. Uh, the long-term capital gain is chargeable at the rate of ten percent in case indexation benefit is not opted. What is indexation? So, Income Tax Act give uh, gives us a table, uh, you know, a proper table for uh, taking the indexation benefit. so uh, i guess the base is now 2011 so a proper indexation table is there so that you can evaluate your assets okay so if the indexation benefit is not opted 10% tax would be you know chargeable in case indexation benefit has been opted then 20% tax has to be paid in case of long term capital gain in case in case the bonds are redeemed on the date of maturity that is 8 years from the date of issue of bonds then it is tax free then it is totally tax free no need to pay any long term capital gain any short term capital gain okay one another important point if you bought the sovereign gold bonds from the secondary market let's say i go to zero dha and after you know after they have been issued for 4 years and i buy the bonds from the zero dha from the secondary market after the fourth year so there is no clarification on the tarbis website so right now what's happening uh, if you bought the sovereign gold bonds in the secondary market and then you uh, if you hold those bonds till maturity then these are totally tax free no issues okay so let's get back uh, okay 
So student SBI CBO 2022 course, it's available on bankexamstudy.com. We are providing complete syllabus coverage with the test series. Proper test series is also there. Doubt clearing sessions are there. Uh, special classes for descriptive paper, proper study material with systematic plan, self-paced course and video classes are there. Everything is available on bankexamstudy.com. All the links are available in the description. In case of any doubt, Ask your doubts 9067201000. This is my personal WhatsApp number. You can drop a WhatsApp message. I'm going to answer you. And that's actually all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. List of all our successful students who cracked various competitive exams, similar levels, scale two, scale three, uh, who are the students of bank exams today. All these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really, really happy for them, right? In case of any doubt, ask your doubts. All the details are available in the description. Ask your doubts and subscribe the channel. Like this video. That's really, really important for me. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.